g'day, Councillor Kev Pop, Mayor of Wodonga. I've got Councillor Kat Bennett with me. And who's that? It's little Raf. Hey, Raf. Welcome to the post council meeting update for another month. And we're pleased to try to take you a little over a three hour meeting into as uh, short a minutes as we possibly can. Uh, Councillor Bennett, very happy to be here with me for the first time. And I guess the main part is about that community participation, Kat, because we had a couple of petitions last night, and that's obviously one form of many ways people can contact us. The first one um, being around the Barrandoota Boulevard sort of speed limits and feedback there within the Barrandoota part of the Dong community um, coming back through. That's definitely something that will get addressed as Barrandoota Fields is built, but that petition has been tabled and, um, and taken in by the council last night. But I guess, Kat, I'll let you speak about the, the fairly significant one around uh, Junction Place and, and the proposed bottle shop for the corner, that petition probably one of the strongest ones I think the council will have ever seen. Yeah, sure. So we last night received a petition with over about 2,000 signatures on it. So the role last night at the meeting was just about accepting the petition as we normally do with any petition that comes up. So that will form part of the, the formal submissions that we receive on this particular item. Um, and it, also important to note with this one, it's you can still there's lots of time to have your say on this. We've actually got four sessions coming up. So you can register for that online with Development Victoria to give your feedback. So we'll include those details so you can have your say on that one. Yeah, the first of those being uh, tomorrow night. And uh, again, it was a really good example, not just the petition, but right throughout the meeting where councillors are constantly reminding the community to say, we are here, you've elected us, contact us directly. So uh, phone numbers, email addresses, they're all on the council website. Make sure you check that out. The first item for determination that came before councillors was the review of the delegations uh, given throughout the organisation, a fairly substantive piece of work of which the councillors take uh, plenty of time comparing to obviously what the previous versions of that work said, but then also looks at what uh, act and operational changes may have happened over the last six or several months and, uh, and then really assess how the uh, business can conduct itself day to day without anybody getting in the way and with as minimal red tape as possible. That's, that's it in a nutshell, really. But ultimately, if you're interested, interested about delegations, which I've seen a lot of public feedback about or, or opinions and views on, we'd encourage you to go back and, and have a real good read. There's, there's a few hundred pages to sort of get through and see exactly who in the organisation is responsible and ultimately will be accountable for what. A couple of land sales uh, came before us in terms of uh, transactions that would be happening in the future. Uh, they've already been out to public for notice. One of them will come back out again just after a change to uh, some requirements and legal advice and recommendations. So it's not too dissimilar out of a change of some of the administration terminology. You're welcome again, though, to have a look at those. They're in uh, not just the agenda, but will be in the uh, video record of last night's meeting. So you'll be able to have a look at those. Uh, we also had our community grants pop back up once again, which is good to see uh, the council support uh, community groups that sometimes just do need that extra helping hand um, to have a really positive impact in our community. So uh, we had both our community impact and also infrastructure grants awarded at last night's council meeting. Hey, Rafi, how you going there, Rafi? Interested about the next generation of the city of Wodonga? Ready to go? because <laughs> ultimately let's be honest the decisions that we make as councillors today will impact uh, little yeah. ones like into the future isn't that right councillor bennett Ab absolutely uh so another thing that came before us was tenders this time around for a little street sweeper and also for our footpath network throughout wodonga uh councillor bennett i know you're a huge user of these and, and we all know uh, even through our community consultation process for council plans earlier in the year and what have you it's all about our open spaces really isn't it yeah, absolutely. Um, and people, I think, are just using our green spaces more than ever with COVID. And I think that goes into one of our other ones, which is we've got a, the draft open space strategy out at the moment. So this is actually a huge piece of work, which looks at all of councils, all the public space and how we use it and how we're going to use it into the future. This item touches on the environmental, the economical, the, the social benefits of having uh, public open space. And certainly whenever we do any feedback, Yep. <laughs> it's such an important item that our community really value. Council has about 429 hectares of open space. So we've, we're out for consultation at the moment. We've already done quite a bit of consultation, but this is our, this is our third uh, go out for community. So really encouraging people to have their say on that as well. And that 
questions over the next eight weeks, I guess we highlight, um, you know, makewadongayours.com.au, just a reminder, website, you should be visiting that as often as you visit a Facebook or some of the others because ultimately these things, if you look down the track in 30, 40 years from now and see a nice big jacaranda tree and you go, why was that planted there and by who? A lot of that is reflected in that draft open space strategy that is uh, there for your consideration. It takes into, you know, your, your curbsides, your streetscapes and everything and how it's all landscaped as well. So uh, definitely one to look at. And look, if you're a numbers guru, you'll love the draft financial plan, uh, which is also out for consultation as well. Our council had priority project list put in front of them to the <laughs> which is quite exciting, Councillor Benner, and you spoke to the fact of having those shovel-ready projects and things to consider in future budgets for the council. And this, in some ways, will be beyond our current council term um, that some of these projects will take off, but also more so the consideration and how much of a priority it might be within our community at any given time. But unless you look at um, what that means, you don't really know. So there's a few um, areas of interest across our community, wasn't there, Councillor? Yeah, so we've got a, um, a few different projects, one of them being Wodonga Creek, the other one Sports and, Sports and Leisure Centre, Bronagilla Township, Wodonga Exhibition Centre and the Senior Citizen Centre. So this work is about doing all the pre-work to make these projects shovel ready. So we've approved 500000 in this year's budget to do all that costing work. And this is really important because we need to have a really good idea of what these of what these are going to cost us. And even more important is actually because we're going into a state and a federal election. So having these particular projects ready to pick up and hopefully get funded is really important. But even if there wasn't an election, elections coming up, we need to know for our 10 year um, capital works plan. So to work out what we can afford to do, um, what we need state funding for, what we need to do land sales about. And also, this is, like you said, a really important work so the future councils can be delivering on things too. Lots of the items that we've been delivering on, like uh, the library, like Barrandrina Fields, the pre-work started, you know, 10 years ago. So we need to set up that work so councils in 10 years' time can keep delivering. As always, we talk about, you know, feedback from the community and the multiple ways that you can do that to councils and into the organisation to be recorded and and be formalised and I guess you know one of the questions that we had to council specifically that how do we find councillors how do we get in contact with them what are the ways in which we can have ourselves heard as a community and um, there were for the I think that's the record for my council term anyway several questions this time around this month and and a lot of them with a common theme but if you want to see those questions the answers provided to the community but also find out more about the process obviously check the minutes of the meeting and, and you can watch the video there as well. We also have all the questions up online of all the previous meetings as well. So it's a good, if you want to uh, catch up on any of them, there's that there on our website. As each month happens, we have the reports come back to keep us informed of what's happening within the organisation. Uh, once again, those reports are for planning, building, competitive services, uh, the record of meetings and also the decisions register. But we had an additional report for noting this month which was the Gender Equality Action Plan, Councillor Bennett, which I've already filled in my questions. They've been sent out to me. Yeah, so this is um, a requirement actually of all councils and other different organisations with some new legislation from the state government around looking at gender equality in workplaces. So councillors will be sent a voluntary uh, survey to fill in so we can collect data about what's currently happening at the moment in terms of gender equality in Victoria. Well, that just about wraps up September's recap of the council meeting. Thank you, Councillor Bennett, for joining me for this month. And um, I guess that common theme that we've heard right throughout this update, but definitely throughout our council meeting was, you know, we urge the community to be in contact, not just on something they think is controversial or threatening their way of life, but all the time with all the things out there for feedback. Yeah, absolutely. So make sure you head to Make Wodonga Yours. There's lots of things up for consultation at the moment. So please go and have your say on those items. We'll let you get back to Rafi. Give him a big cuddle and kiss for us all. And uh, we'll catch you next month. Thank you. Thanks.